Welcome back everyone, Tina here. And in today's video, I'm going to show you how you can set up a setup fee in recurring invoices. Before you had to send two invoices to achieve that, well, not anymore. This comes in really handy if you're selling software, for example, and you would like to charge your setup fee for your new client's accounts. So this new update allows you to add the setup fee to the first invoice However, in the next recurring invoices, the client will only see the actual recurring charge without any more setup fees. Let me show you how to set this up. So first, let's click on payments on the left, then go to products at the top, select products and create a new product. Let's give it a title. Let's give it a description. Scroll down and the type select recurring, then add your amount. You can also select the different currencies in the drop down menu here. You can add a compare price, which I would recommend you to do because that will help people see how much it actually costs and that they're actually getting a good deal. Then you can decide if the billing period is daily, weekly, monthly, maybe yearly, or you can set a custom duration. Let's set custom duration for now. Let's say every month, one time per month. That's good. We're not adding a trial period in this case. Let's say the number of payments is five. And here's the new feature, the setup fee. So let's say it's 297 and let's click save. After you've created your product, you want to go to invoices and create an invoice. So let's go back, let's go to invoice. Let's click add new invoice, top right corner. Let's click new recurring template. At the top, we are going to start with the frequency settings. How often would you like to send that invoice? You can dictate the start date, the end date and send the invoice however many days in advance. Now, if you select the product first, this will fill out automatically. So let's scroll down, add a new item, click the drop down menu, select your product, which you just set up and hit save. Now you can see listed the first item here is the setup fee 297. And the second item here is the actual product at $100. Let's just delete the second line. Okay, perfect. Scroll back up. Here we can dictate what date of the month you want to send it. First sounds good to me. And again, the frequency is every single month, one time. Start date, when do we want to start? Today is a good day. And automatically it has taken over the settings from the actual product. Remember we added, hey, send this five times. It's a five times recurring invoice. We want to send the invoice three days in advance so the client has time to pay it. Then scroll down, make sure to add your client so you can actually save the invoice. Then scroll back up hit save and you can see the recurring every four months has been saved. Now you can either go ahead and schedule the invoice or save and close. In this case, let's just schedule it real quick. You want to send it via email. That's good. Down here, you can go in and edit the template by clicking on the pencil icon and additional options. You can see if it is a test mode or live mode. Let's do test mode for now so I can show you how it looks like. The amount that has to be paid is 397. That's correct. Down here, you can decide if it's a customer card, if it's a safe card, which you already saved in the system or if it's a new card. Let's keep it at customer card for now. Let's hit schedule and the invoice has been scheduled. If you hover over this little information icon here, you can see that this invoice is in test mode. Once you've finished testing that invoice, you can switch it back to live mode and start collecting your money. I hope you find this new feature helpful and I will see you in the next video.